Hello everyone, Tom Hilton here. I'm with uh, Hiltonsoffshore.com. Introducing our new SAT2 nav system. It's a waterproof case uh, enclosing a device that allows you to uh, access Hilton's from your chart plotter and save the charts to navigate upon outside of cell range. Um, it works by uh, plugging into the back of your monitor of a Garmin 8400, 8600 series. Uh, Raymarine, Axiom XL, or Furuno TZT3 16 inch and 19 inch units. And we're working on SimRad. There's an issue on the touchscreen, but we're hoping to get that resolved fairly soon. And um, when you fire up the system, it's going to uh, bring in, you have to log in. I've already logged in using the same username and password that you use to access the site. And then you go to navigation and then you select whatever region you want. Right now I'm in South Carolina. Actually, I'm in Savannah, Georgia. <laughs> Went to the uh, South Carolina Wahoo Classic meeting yesterday down in Hilton Head. And so it thinks I'm in a boat. And so there I am. And there's my current lat long position. And um, let's say it's five in the morning and you're putting fuel bait and ice in the boat. So I wanna go in and access the site, surfing Hilton's from your Garmin, for instance, and then looking for the absolute latest stuff. So I'm gonna go in and um, find the best latest shot. And um, let's see here, that looks pretty good here. So this image is based on a 50 to 81 degree range. We have to take into account this cooler water inshore. If you're Wahoo fishing, you don't really care about that. You're interested in what's happening out in Wahoo country. So I'm gonna adjust this range. I'm just gonna back that out. I'm gonna put my, uh, my new number 68. And then uh, actually this is close enough. I'm just gonna take this down to like 76 and then it's whatever range you want to put in there, whatever you feel like based on your experience that you caught uh, most Wahoo in on that temperature range. But I think 68 to 76 is pretty good. And what it does is it sharpens the image and you can see, even though we do have a lot of cloud interference, there's a massive backflow eddy that's coming back in here. I'm kind of battling the text here. So what I want to do is uh, remove the waypoint names and then you can uh, you know get a better look at it so it's really interesting how the, the currents come and back <clears throat> backflow out of the Gulf Stream every so often and then bringing the warmer clear stream water inshore for uh, and also the predators to feed so you say all right I like this so we're we're uh, customizing it and we're saving it as a navigation chart and let's look for chlorophyll. Um, I'm going to go back on the archives uh, and look for uh, the best latest shot. Let's uh, try that one. So you can see the backflow here. It's uh, this is a not exactly apples to apples. This is a little bit older shot, but. Um, it's good to have with you and you can understand the dynamics of what's going on. So let's save this one and then let's slide back into navigation. And for right now, we have to go back and tell the system to go get those charts I just saved. Um, very quickly, we're going to eliminate this step. And when you save the chart in the website, it's going to automatically save it to your account on our server as well inside of the system. So now everything's saved in here. Let's uh, let's go find that shot. Um, here it is. So this is the shot I just created. And let's say that we want to go find that edge right there. We hit go to. We are now navigating to it. And um, here's your distance and your bearing from where I'm sitting right now. And you say, hey, you know what? Uh, let's say if I'm not here and I'm actually out, you'll see your vessel out on 
the spot when you're fishing. And so let's say that you catch a nice fish here, you can hit the camera icon. And I just created a screenshot. So now I'm gonna go back into uh, the memory and look at these uh, screenshots. So there's the, uh, the image I just created. Uh, it has the location of where you were when you caught the fish. It shows the graphic of what was happening when you caught the fish. So it's, it's, I think it's gonna be a very handy tool to, uh, for you to look back upon uh, later. And it's a great learning tool as well. So I'm gonna get rid of that, go back into navigation. And then you, uh, there's another way you can do it is just go through uh, your drop down list. There's the chlorophyll shot. Uh, so it's really cool. You can just, you know, touch screen is great on these things. So you got a nice edge and it's got some nice blue water. Um, good current. This is indicative of current when these backflows, uh, of course, are bringing the warmer blue water inshore. It's, it's with current. So it's good to have good current, uh, good temperature. And uh, a lot of times it'll, it'll create edges. So that create weed lines on these backflows. So it's critical in this area to be uh, viewing and tracking these backflow eddies. Um, let's see, what else? Your waypoints, I just hit go to. Go to is a temporary waypoint. So whatever's here, you, um, this is the point on the earth that I just click with my finger to go find that edge. So if you need to lift it out of here, that's how you do it. Uh, you also have all the different waypoints in your hip pocket here. So uh, where are the black banks? And uh, there's your coordinates. And let's see, I'm kind of constrained on the size of, uh, of the videos here, so I'm going to have to cut it out here. Uh, you can also remove your, your waypoint names. Uh, you can remove all the waypoints, or you have the options here to, uh, to customize it when you're out there and maximize your, your efficiency. So that's it for now. Uh, good luck to you all, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the dock soon.